What's up? My name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be taking you through super simple fixes for sound not working in Overwatch 2. So you may be experiencing no sound in the game at all, even though you've checked things. But let's start at the very top. Double check your audio devices properly plugged in and turned on. Obviously it is. Make sure your audio drivers are installed and set up. If you hear sound elsewhere, well, that's probably not it. With all of that basic stuff out the way, Overwatch 2 apparently isn't following what you have set as the default audio device, and there's a very simple way around that. Simply hit start and type in sound, then you'll be opening the sound control panel. On the default start menu, you'll see it as change system sounds here. Then you'll be able to choose the playback tab at the very top. Inside of this sound window on the playback tab, we'll simply be looking for the device that we listen to audio with. For me, it's output one, two. This could be speakers, headphones, or anything like that for you. Right click the device, choose set as default, then right click once more and choose set as default communication. Now, here comes the weird part. Go ahead and disable every device that you're not currently using. I usually do this by default, but it's definitely something worthwhile. All of your monitors that you're not listening to the sound through, other headphones, and including VR devices like the Oculus and things like that. For a lot of people, the audio has been defaulting to these other devices for Overwatch 2 and nothing else really. So make sure you have everything disabled in here except for what you're actively using. Overwatch 2 does connect to the Oculus audio output sometimes, so you may need to disable that temporarily, even if you use an Oculus daily. You can just right click and enable it once more when you're done. It's super simple. Right click, disable. Then when you're done with that, fire up the game and see if things are better. You will need to restart the game in between each of these fixes just to make sure that things have actually started working again or not. If you can't find your devices to re-enable them, right click and choose show disabled devices. That way you can see everything that is disabled here and re-enable them one by one. If things still aren't working, head back to the playback tab and right click the device that you're currently using. It should be the only enabled device here. Then properties. And inside of here, head across to the Advanced tab, then from the default format, click the drop down and choose a different option here. Usually you'll have a really high option set. Try dropping it to 48,000 or 44.1 thousand over here. That may fix your issue. Otherwise, you can go ahead and raise it back to whatever you normally use it at and apply OK. Obviously, you'll be applying and OKing between relaunches of the game itself to see if things work. That will hopefully work for you. Besides that, another obvious thing is checking your sound volume panel. On Windows 10, you can right click the sound icon and open the volume mixer. On Windows 11, you can do that too, but this opens up a big settings window that looks something like this. Simply just crank the audio all the way up to the top for Overwatch 2 and make sure that you can hear it that way. It's also worthwhile checking your default output device up here if you haven't already. If you're on Windows 11 and you want the old sound panel, Hold start and press R. Then inside of here, type in SNDVOL and hit enter. That'll open up the old sound mixer where you can crank the volume up and down of whatever application. I much prefer this old menu here versus the new settings window in Windows 11. Besides that, you can try and unplug your headset or whatever it is, plug it into a different port if possible. And finally, if absolutely nothing is working, pull across the Blizzard launcher, locate the game, click the settings wheel, then scan and repair. This will run through all of the files on your PC for Overwatch 2 and verify that they're correct. If anything's corrupt or missing, it'll be downloaded and replaced and fixed up ready for you to play Overwatch 2 once more. Hopefully this video gets you back to a place where you can hear the game you're trying to play and enjoy it for what it's supposed to be. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.